The Kettle Moraine School District in the middle of a tug of war over the issues of gender identity and sexual representation. New at 6, Waukesha County reporter Kaylee Starrell explains what is motivating a new complaint from LGBTQ advocates and why the district is unable to do more. I knew that things were getting bad at KM, but I didn't know how bad things were. JJ Koshell used to be a student in the Kettle Moraine School District. I had to drop out of KM due to the bullying. He says it was in part because of the environment, referencing this July 16th board meeting. Trans women are not women. The school board also that night discussing adopting a new Title IX regulation asking for gender identity to be included in Kettle Moraine's non-discrimination policy. The reason I think putting anything in Title IX right now is not something we should be doing. After deciding not to enforce the regulation, two Wisconsin nonprofits filed a complaint with the U.S. Department of Education. I asked for a copy. The group saying, quote, they are urging the department to further investigate the district for its compliance with federal law. So I reached out to the school district. They tell me the rule was not reviewed because the district is part of a preliminary injunction while the rule is reviewed in federal court. The district adding it, quote, supports all students and families and does not tolerate bullying. I spoke to many Kettle Marine parents today on both sides of the issue who didn't want to go on camera. Some tell me this rule is ridiculous. Others say it's necessary for their children. Both feelings causing many to speak out. It was really frustrating. JJ is asking for the rule to be enforced and an apology. We're, we're willing to fight and we are not going to stop until every student has a right to feel safe, seen, respected and represented in our district. Many of those parents I spoke with today tell me they'll be at a board meeting happening tonight to raise their concerns. In Wales, Kaylee Sorrell, TMJ4 News. The conservative group Moms for Liberty won that injunction against the enforcement of these Title IX changes. In a statement, the group says the injunction applies at all Kettle Moraine School District schools that have Moms for Liberty members. Kaylee Starrell is one of our reporters in Waukesha County. If you have a story you think she should check out, send her an email. Hers is right there on your screen.